The only way you can gain understanding is by reading. As you give yourself to reading, you might paraventure by the workings and orchestrations of the Spirit. Pipe into books, tapes, recordings of men in similar experiences like you that have survived it. Daniel chapter 9. He said, Hi, Daniel understood by books. That every understanding is coming by an impartation. Some come by the commitment you give to reading. To understand from certain men in that your pathway, in that your line, what they've gone through, how they survived it. When you don't understand, you alter counsel. You alter process. You know, understanding makes you stay in line. But lack of understanding makes you take alternative. Listen, understanding makes you stay in line. But lack of, under, lack of understanding makes you take what? Alternative. And when you take alternatives, you alter your native. Do, do we understand that? When you take alternatives, you what? You alter your natives. You change your original. <laughs> understanding. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 5. He said, counsel is like a deep well, but only a man of understanding will fetch it out. The word counsel there, the original word means blueprints. Blueprint, patterns laid down. It's like a deep well, but only a man of understanding will what? We fetch it out. Only a man of understanding will fetch it out. Are we following tonight? Rise up to your feet and pray this one prayer. Oh Lord, baptize me with understanding. Pray, pray, pray in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, baptize me with understanding. Pray the ghetto Samaita. Regede Shilaga. Hold the answer. Igre la la dobo sinaya cabrene du la ea. Rana na na mo se li ge gro do do di a le li e. Oh Lord, baptize me with understanding. Can you raise your voice and pray? So Holy Ghost, baptize me with understanding tonight. Holy Ghost, baptize me with understanding tonight. Holy Ghost, baptize me with understanding. Berada gadosh yade. Rada gadosh yade. Belanango biso kalaida ga gridi go siade rapato suka Amen. Listen, questions asked God in the atmosphere of faith is not doubt. Do you hear what I said? Questions thrown to God in the climate of faith is not doubt. You have a right to ask. Not because you want to backslide, but because you don't. So Lord, tell me what is happening around my life. Are we to get? I came to correct some of your long, wrong theology. <laughs> we want more. You not finished yet. See now, number two. How do we survive the fire? Master patience and endurance. Master patience and endurance. The Bible in Hebrews 6 and verse 12. It says, follow those who through faith and they were patient. They were patient. One prayer we will pray now is the baptism of endurance. It's a gift. Some of you cannot go through half of what I've gone through in life. You won't stand it. 
Follow those who through what? Faith and patience. The Bible is speaking in Hebrews chapter 12. He said, looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of faith, who what? For the joy that was set before him, it was painful, oh. All he did was to what? Endure. <laughs> it was painful. The process is never sweet. It is painful. And it requires what? Endurance. So one of the virtue, one of the giftings, one of the impartation you need from your process to become the product or the reality of the prophecy is the gift and the baptism of endurance. Follow those who through faith and patience obtained the promise. That's the pathway to get it. Endure! Others might be enjoying and it looks you are not like you like you're not enjoying. Endure! Tell your neighbor, endure! Endure. You know, we don't teach those kind of virtues again in the body of Christ. Forgetting the fact that it's a fruit of the spirit rather. No, we don't teach it. So you can't, no, 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 it's not possible. You can't go through and please, you just, you know, all your life is just good when you get to God. Really? Is that what you saw in the word? No! Patience and endurance. Habakkuk chapter 3. He said, For the vision is yet for what? An appointed time. He said, Though it might tarry, wait. What did he tell you to do? Wait. The day they gave you the prophecy that you are a man of God does not mean you should start church. That's how many failed. That's how many were drawn by the flood of life. The vision is for an appointed time. It's for an appointed time. Wait. After you get the vision, what was supposed to be the next step? Endure. <laughs> Are we following? Wait. He said, though it might tarry, wait, it will not tarry. I told you why. Because there is a system in God that can recover years. Joel 2, 28, 25. Joel 2, 25. Give me that scripture. He said, the years, the canker worm, the palmer worm, every type of worm has eaten, I can restore. There is an agency in God that can collapse years. That's why what tarried will not look like it did not tarry. He said, though it's tarry, wait, it will not tarry. Is that not too confusing statement? It's like saying two opposite things to mean them to be one. <laughs> I know Maridimali I know Maridimali all of creation testify and this life within me cry hello my redeemer can we pray this one prayer rise up to your feet lord baptize me with endurance baptize me with endurance Listen, why you are still standing? Do you know because of this lack of virtue I'm talking about, many have stayed decades in God looking for the same thing. Just like Saul, when Samuel is already close to the bush, that's when you cut the, the, the ram. <laughs> he said, I waited for three days and it seems not to come. You know, God is never late. He only comes later to make you the latest. So when you late, then you begin to take alternatives. I say, when you take alternatives, you alter your native, your original. Just. And that's how some of us are. Because we can't endure the pain. We can't endure the process. How will they be mocking at me that I'm a man of God and I'm drinking Gary? So you begin to double into things. 
you put your hands into things. No. Follow those. No, any man that is speaking to you and is in the heights that he has obtained the promise told us how he got it, no matter what he says to you. It is through what? Faith in the process. And what? Patience. It's not overnight. Patience. They endured. Can you pray that prayer again? Hold the hand of somebody close to you. Oh God, say after me, oh God. Oh God. Baptize me with the endurance. Baptize me with the Raise your voice and pray tonight. Amen. <laughs> there were times it was never easy for me. I had a vision, I had a dream. I saw what God said to me. Great men and women in the faith confirmed it. Gone to meetings and they've said so many things. I told you the first meeting I started was 13 people. Very powerful meeting. <laughs> Endure. I remember the first year. First year. It was not funny on me. Because you know when you start a walk and the burden of the vision is upon you. Be ready to start with your resources. It was not. You know I told them. I said I invented. What's this milk? Strawberry. Yeah, I make sure the garlic will be very colorful. It's pinky in nature. So to make it look like you're not suffering. You pour it around. Then it changes the color. <laughs> Even if you give a poor man that has a good mindset racks, he will wear it like gold. That's what I was doing. I wasn't wearing my experiences. I was behaving my expectations. No! Some of you just carry the whole world on your head. Everywhere you do, I just know, okay. <laughs> now, I, I should look back to that and say I'm in that condition again. Everything is changed. Nothing is the same. Everything is changed. <laughs> That's how life is. Endurance. Endure. 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 Who for the joy that was set ahead of him, he endured. Sit down. Are we getting blessed tonight? Can we end here? Number three. Believe in the process. <laughs> believe in the process. Cultivate a climate of faith around you. The Bible is speaking in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. That without faith it is impossible to make this God happy. How will a man just move by a statement? You know the good thing about it is that Faith is not based on what was said, but on who said it. That's why even the Lord's prayer started by saying, Our Father, if you understand the person, not the statement. Anybody, if this young man now tells you by tomorrow morning, you know he's holding the mic and he's very powerful and prayerful. And he tells you by tomorrow morning he will give you a job. And Buhari who happens to be a Muslim person tells you, they say, who will you believe? Faith is not based on the statement, but the man behind the statement. Believe in the process. Give me Mark chapter 11 and verse 23 to 24. He said, For verily I say unto you that whatsoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe that those things which he saith. 
You see why a man can sleep even when his ship is sinking. But we not doubt in his heart. He believed that those things which he said shall come to pass. What did the Bible say? He shall have some things whatsoever. He says. Give me 24. He said when you pray, believe in your heart that you have gotten it. Believe in the process. In Matthew chapter 14, is it 23 or so? Matthew 14, 31. The Bible says, and Peter was so confident seeing the reality of Jesus. I said, Master, it be you. Bid me to come. And the Bible says he began to come. And after a while, he looked away and he began to sink. What was the response of Jesus? Why did you doubt? Did you see that? Why did you doubt? Was his complaint. Why did you doubt? Don't lose hope. Believe in the process that the God that has said such to you has in himself the ability to make it to come to pass without your consultation. Without your con That's the way I believe this God. Look at it to calculate with my physical sense whether the means, the men, what's that prayer you pray? And the method, what, what is that? The means, the, and the resources. Whether they are so close by me, I don't think that's way. A man that can turn the story of a city called Samaria in 24 hours, he can do anything with the life of a man. By this time tomorrow, a donkey head will be sold for one shekel. The king's right hand man say, even if he opens the window of heaven. You see why I say understanding is powerful? He forgot that at a certain point in time, dead by himself, three million men, by himself, by the blast of his nostrils, he commanded quail to enter a place and feed them three million people. One time, he just looked at them, their complaint of hunger, and he sent manna to feed them for many days. And the man is saying such a statement. Has he not opened the window before? See, <laughs> you see what even kept there, Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego, or shall I mention Abednego in the fire, was understanding. Should I show you? Give me, give me. Friend of Holy Ghost. I will open up my heart ready for your holy fire. I will let you into my heart and into my soul. Give me Isaiah. Isaiah 43. Give me Isaiah 43. Give me verse 2. Asian world ever true. Aha. Look at it. Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego knew this scripture. Do you understand what I'm saying? That when thou walkest through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be born, neither even the flame. You won't feel the smoke. Was that not the testimony they said about them? That even the smoke was not on their bodies. They knew something, though. So you must carry an understanding the midst of the fire. Are we together? Cultivate faith. Believe in the process. Job 41, 14 verse 14. He said, I will wait for the days of my appointed time. That's how you should talk like a man that believed this God. I will wait for the days of my appointed time till my change come. The process is the hardest. <laughs> you know why? Should I tell you why? Give me Proverbs 13. 1322 because the hope defies makes the heart sick. <laughs> hope what defied make the heart what sick. Proverbs 1313. Check that scripture for me. Is it no 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 no? Quickly look it up for me. He said, Hope defied makes the heart what sick. Aha. Verse 12. Hope defied make the heart sick. But when desire comets. It is joy everywhere. It is joy. You forget the sufferings. You forget the sorrows. That's why the process is the hardest. Proverbs 13, 12. Hope deferred make it the heart sick. This God is God. You've been promising me this. When will it come? It has a way of sickening the heart. Are we together? Number four, 
Give me Philippians 4 and verse 8. Think your expected end. In the next paper, I will round up the service. Think your expected end. Are we following? The Bible says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are what? True. Whatsoever things are what? Honest. Whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are of good report. When people hear it, it will sweet their ears. Whatsoever things are worthy, if there be any praise and any virtue, think. Did he say I will give you the thoughts? Think like that. Say in a few years, once this is over, I will enter my rest. It will not always be like this. At the scent of water, no matter what has happened to that tree, at the scent of water, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the dew of heaven, it will brood up again. Think on these things. You just do so much thinking. Easy for me. Hey, I'm suffering. This one is happening. Think on these things. They gave you the kind of things you should think about. Think. It's called in Greek. It means concentrated thoughts. Has the ability to begin to attract men position to make it reality. How many of you have observed that in a season, you just begin to think so strongly? Not your normal type of thinking. Yet, sir, concentrated thought on a business idea. Suddenly, people having that power, having the information you need, having the resources, go begin to bring them come your way. You, just, you begin to encounter them. Why? Your thought is a cord in the spiritual realm. Should I prove to you? Should I prove it? Give me Ephesians 3.20. The Bible says he is able to do exceedingly much more than what we pray than and think. If your thought is the other brother, he can do much more than you pray or what think. That's how powerful. You see why you cannot think wrongly. <laughs> God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on god cause he won't give up on you he's able number five submit to the workings of god's spirit james 4 verse 7 he said submit yourself under god the holy is first a builder before he is a dweller. If he doesn't build you, he won't dwell. That's why he subjects you through the fire. It's a building process. When he is done thoroughly with you, see what he will make of your life. Then indeed you understand the scripture that says we are God's masterpiece. Imagine God displaying his own artwork upon the earth and say, men, come and see my handwork. Are we together? Submit to his dealings so that you don't short cycle your process. When you pick an instruction from the Holy Ghost, do it. For every act of disobedience, you have enacted a delay. Every act of what? Disobedience. Now listen, I thought a message in the early days of this to the amplified realm. That everything we do on this realm is amplified in the spiritual realm. Just one careless lie. That Abraham lied. He passed lie through his old genealogy. Once. He only told that lie once. All his sons had to tell lie in life. Submit yourself. Things will not always go your way. But when things don't go your way. Look up to heaven and say. Oh God. I may not understand. But I trust you. I trust you. You can't mismanage my life. You are too faithful to fail me. Do you understand that? You are too committed to leave me halfway. Do you understand? You've spoken your words in my life. And I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Those are the kind of things I should be hearing you sing. I may not understand, but I trust you. I trust you. Because listen, listen. Do you know that's why I taught you one of the services that learned to master, be a master over disappointment. Because the God I have followed, this God I have watched the fathers followed, 
He knows how to offend the hearts of men to reveal the true state of their hearts. <laughs> you know, most of you stand in service. I give myself away so you can use me. And he tells you, empty the account. Then you say, I collect myself again. <laughs> For it was a mistake that I gave you. <laughs> you think he believes in your statement? He is not moved by that. He will try it. Psalm 66, verse 8 to 10. Give me verse 10. Verse 10. He said, For thou hast tried up like silver is tried in the furnace. He will try you. Aha. Any trusted faith is a faith that has been tried and tested. Then he can trust it. Do you remember that it, it, it took Genesis? God called Abraham, I think, 18 or so. It was in Genesis 22, after 25 years with God, that he obeyed sacrificing Isaac. What did God say? Now that I know you fear me. 25 years, he was still a suspect. And so, some of you just hustling around God for two years. I, I know who I am in God. A man for 25 years was still told that now I know that you fear me. I saw such a statement and it humbled me never to assume a posture before God. Are we getting blessed tonight? So no matter how things go, say, Lord, I still trust you. Don't slow your process. Once God is done working, you will laugh at last. Number six, receive impactations from those ahead. Impactation is a platform for the duplication and multiplication of one, wisdom, two, grace, three, experience, and four, strength. An angel one time looked at a young man, Elijah. He was chased away by a woman and he had to take an angel to what? To impact him what? Strength. He said, eat so you can have strength. So in the midst of your process, God will begin to bring men relevant for your speed, relevant for your assignment and your advancement. Take advantage of those graces. Some of you, you have missed people that was part of your success story. You have missed people that were part of your destiny path. Sometimes because of pride and spiritual arrogance. Seek. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 7 that without any controversy, the lesser blessed. The lesser is blessed of the better. Number seven. Now listen, before we get to number seven, <laughs> I was saying that to pastors a few weeks ago. I said, in every man, there is the human part and his divine part. You know, that's the problem we have in the body of Christ. I'm a pastor, right? And he's a young brother in God. Do you know this young man can criticize me for the same thing he's doing? Because I'm a pastor. So we are superhumans. We are expected perfect beings. Somebody will criticize you for the same thing he has done. There is the human part and the divine part of every man. That's why a man can be so loaded anointedly and still fall sick and die. Call Elisha. The Bible says he was sick unto death. Such that to say it was not that he sinned or his anointing is adulterated. The Bible says one time Israel wanted to go bury a man. And when they saw their enemies coming, they threw that man to Elisha's grave. As he touched the bone, he jumped back to life. But such a man died of a sickness. There is the human part of man. And there is what? The divine part. Concentrate on the divine part, what you are looking for. When you begin to fix your eyes on the whirlwind, you will miss the master going. That's what Elijah was telling Elisha. The whirlwind is a sandy storm. It comes with strange sound. So as you are trying to clean your eyes, they've taken me oh, If only you can put the eye, allow the sand. Just get the double portion you are looking for. Number seven. Spend time with God in prayers and in the word. That's where you get clarity, direction. You receive strength and peace. Men can give you at any time explanations about the happenings of your life. But only God has the true answer. Are we together? Anybody can say anything. This is what God is doing. This is that he's doing. Stay with him. 
and get better clarity. Isaiah 40 and verse 30 to 31. He said, even the youth can grow weary sometimes. People known for their strength. The Bible said the glory of the young men is their strength. But he acknowledged that they can grow weary sometimes. They can become tired even in the process. He said, but how do they recover that? They that wait on the Lord. They shall mount up with strength as eagles. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall run and not fit. Are we together? When you become pregnant with the word in your period of waiting, it alters your taste and desires. It makes your pursuit different from what others are pursuing as you stay with God. You know, when a woman becomes pregnant, her taste and desire changes. We call it decrease. So the same thing when you are impregnated with God's word, you stay with the word, you begin to take it inside of you. Suddenly your taste, the way you talk will change. It will alter your desire. Number eight. Continue in the pursuit of your dreams and purpose. Proverbs 8, 29, 28 verse 19. He said, he that till let his ground shall have plenty of bread. For he that followeth after vain person have what? Poverty enough. Proverbs 28, 19. Continue that you are trusting God for a great future does not mean you stay I do. Are we following? No. Waiting does not mean to be wasted. Are we together? Get your hand busy. Work hard. Put strength in the pursuit of your the pursuit of your purpose and passion. Are we following? Because that's one of the foolish things young people do. They don't do anything. Get this done. Learn this skill. He said, I'm waiting. Waiting does not mean you should be what? Wasted. With energy. With strength. You needed hard work for the pursuit of your destiny and purpose. Number nine. Don't give up on yourself. In some periods of the fire, be willing to make so many mistakes. For there is no scar, no star without a scar. No triumph without a thorn. Mess that gives you a message. Your pain gives you your pulpit. Don't be scared of making mistakes. It's part of the process. See, some of you are bandits. You are holding your destiny to ransom because of something you did 10 years ago. You are a bandit. You don't know. That's how bandits behave. They hold people in captive for their mistakes. Say the reason why we are not they give me money first. That's what some of you are doing to your future. God does not consult to predict your tomorrow. No, he doesn't do that. Ignore that. Move on. Don't hold yourself bound. Don't give up on yourself. Are we together? You know the good thing about God I've observed about him? He likes to make use of people like that. Because he knows when he uses such kind of vessel, there is no time in their life they can ever take a glory. How, how do they, do they want to do it? They know there is no way they can take it. Because they know where he brought them from. How he took them out of the dump and make them a global figure and icon. So he likes such kind of situation. Are we following? Because some of us, that's our problem. You made a mistake 15 years ago. You are still asking for now. What kind of believer are you? Some of you will be so funny. Say, Lord, after 15 years, if truly you are forgiving me for that I did 50 years again, let this window just open by itself. I'm rubber. <laughs> you did God. God is a gambler that plays chacha. They let the window just open by itself. So say, if water can just come out of this ground, I will know that truly, truly, from the bottom of your heart, you forgive me. Don't hold your destiny into ransom. Finally, for tonight, the great uh, um, Bishop Ayo Risa Jeffo was an umbrella already on the stake to be shot. And they got a message. Release him. He said by the time he was running, he thought he to do the hazard. You know, they can say something like that. Just run. So they, they used to practice how to snipe. But he was shocked. He was let. It was like that. 
the guy that sang mama mama buchi was an robber. but it's a blessing to his generation what have you done that is worse than what david did and god still called him a man after his heart some of you act at the registrar of the court of heaven you are not holding people fast so it's a case today cannot rise every morning when you get your devotion can we all rise the case is between God and sister. <laughs> Ignore your mistakes. A great man of God was one time asked, what was the secret of your success? Why did you last so much in God? He said, you know what you do? When you fall, dust yourself. And say, I'll forever be chasing after you. Keep following him. Will you turn to at this point? I told my children some few weeks ago, I said, we'll the word now. The devil will not believe me. With the things I've done, monitor that boy. He might be a suspect. He's a spy. <laughs> We've gone too far with this God to look back and go another way. So when we miss it, when we mess up, we say, Father, if you want to beat me, beat me. But there is none I can So I will run forever I will run on you all where else can I go? So I will, I will run. Forever I will run. Unto you, O oh God. Where else can I go? Forever I will run. Don't give up on yourself. Tell your neighbor, don't give up on yourself. Because God has not given up on you. See, there is a way. The problem we have in the body of Christ is that we think God thinks like we do. You know, some of you, most people that find it difficult to obtain forgiveness from God is that they are very weak. They find it difficult to forgive others. Say, he must pay for his sin. You see? He must, I won't, the Bible says to err is human, but to forgive is divine. No. <laughs> is that not to forgive? <laughs> they didn't say it is me. God does not think like that. Are we together? He doesn't act that way. Number 10 for tonight and we are done. Remain focused. Hebrews 12 and verse 1 and 2. It's a seen that we are compassed by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. You can't fly with weights. No. Be willing to drop them. Focus eyes on the goal. Do you know focus is a gift? There is nothing that scatters the life of young people like distraction. A man of God comes to your campus and he operated in depths of the prophetic. Suddenly you begin to call yourself Prophet Micaiah. The prophet. Some of you, the next service, if you are a president of a fellowship, your members are in trouble. I see. Then after like three months, a great apostle comes and performs myriads of signs and wonders. You say, I'm Apostle, apostle Micaiah. No, you know what they should call you? Fivefold. When you just appear, they say fivefold. <laughs> Stay focused. Every man is a celebrity at the peak of his assignment. There are pastors that Sinatra is popular than. Yet he's a singer. See, spot that is, they call her name, you know her. They call some pastors, you don't know that they exist. Stay focused. Starve your distraction. For what you feed grows, what you starve dies. Starve them. Give them the ability to grow. Don't create a climate for their survival around you. Rise up to your feet tonight. Stay focused. Eyes up the, on the go. Consistency in the direction is the secret of success. I didn't say consistency is the secret of success. Because you can be consistently wrong. You know, we said that our preach messages like that. Consistency. No. It is consistency in the direction. The secret of success. Are we blessed tonight? We we'll pray this prayer. Lift up your hands. And Lord, suffocate every distraction around my destiny. Some of you might be that boyfriend. That any time you say, I'm going to wait on God for, for, for 10 days. That's when you receive phone call. Can I come to your place and do weekend? <laughs> Is that not so far? That girl may be your distraction. That girl. early you know see know what works for you is that okay you know what i didn't enter a relationship from my bed 
<laughs> when I born me. <laughs> you know, I used the bed. Some of you, they used to betroth you as they born you. So that's what I have to say from birth. <laughs> from my birth till I left this campus before I asked the lady out in my life. I know myself. I'm a very emotional person. I know <laughs> this love thing. I'm a married man now. It's not easy. Since morning, do you know you have not called me? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Bam! They don't call the call. Then they are teaching the Y, the X. You are seeing the W, the B. <laughs> oh, you, you are just... Are you understand? You say yes. I say, so I will tell her that it's not really the way she sees it. I'm really sorry. You know. <laughs> are we together? I know we do like that. So I say, to avoid trouble and stories. And I'm not ready. Are we following? Stop your distractions. Raise your voice and pray tonight. So for, are we blessed? Are you happy you came? Lord, suffocate every form of distraction around my life. Take away distraction. Give me Ephesians 2 and verse 14. KBAC We declare your majesty KBAC Lamentations 214 <laughs> In Jesus' name, Amen. give me songs of Solomon two verse fourteen and fifteen. Yeah, na 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 He said, All my dough that art in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places, the symbolic of a dove in the Bible depicts the Holy Ghost. He dwells in secret places. That's where he stays. Are we following? Are we together? Of the stairs, let me see thy countenance. Let me hear the voice. For sweet is thy voice. And thy countenance is comely. Give me 15. That's my emphasis. He said, but the problem, if I will achieve that, take away from me the little foxes that spoils the vine. Let me tell you about the spoils the vine. Now listen. I may be oh, I've gone to a wonderful mango tree and you saw a very ripe mango. Only for you to get to the top and you find that a bear that chopped one side. <laughs> That's how the foxes find. They just, they'll pinch on this fruit, pick, they leave it. You know, it looks small, but the fruit is useless. So what we destroy your life might not look, that's how it works. Take away from me the little foxes that spawns the vine. Pray that prayer again. Lord, take away distractions from my life. Take away distractions from my life, oh God. Raise your voice and Amen. How many of you are ready tonight? To say, I wear that one cloth I have than to sell my body to look like my friend. I will wait for the days of my appointed time. Don't follow people that are wearing their, their clothes of tomorrow today. 
Because when you wear clothes, they will be naked. Don't follow them. Don't. <laughs> See, one of the things you need for the advancement of your life and destiny is supernatural strength. Paul prayed that prayer in Colossians, Colossians, Ephesians 3 and verse 16. He said, but that I may be strengthened with mind in the inner man. So that I can have enough energy to pursue my assignment. Pursue my passions. Pursue my dream and not lazy around. Strength. The inner man. Strength. <laughs> there was a time I ate that sleep. I was praying with some of my children. I ate that sleep so much that I bought a, a carton of them. What? Fearless. Just to stay awake. I'll drink. That is clear. Zitoka paradis. We know we have to put in the work to see the result. If you give your assignment all it entails, it will release to you all it contains. We know we must put in our best into it. Can we pray this last prayer tonight? And we are done. Lord, impact me with supernatural strength. Are we together? Give me Lamentations 3. Lamentations 3.27. Lamentations 3.27. Look at what it says. It is good for a man to bear what? The enjoyment. No, it should bear the pleasure. Just be, you know, attending one party to another. After test party. <laughs> Some of you have roasted your destiny already. After test cool party. You don't have CGPA. You are doing cool party. <laughs> your, your issue is inside Olive oil. <laughs> See, don't marry the spirit of this end time. Oh. You will become a widow in the future. Don't do it. You will see your mates, you'll be hiding. That's what it means. Okay, we do. Because success has many friends. Failure is an orphan. For are you, all of you are going to a party, right? You dress, all of you bounce like this. <laughs> you can end up or graduate as schoolmates, but don't end up as life mates. Time separates men into categories. So this one you are following friends. Let's go for <laughs> failure is an orphan. When you fail in life, that's where you truly know no man celebrates failure and no one likes to identify with it. Are we together? It is good that a man bears what? The yoke. You know they call yoke? That's what they put upon what? Upon cattle to make ridges. He carries that burden to arrange his destiny. In what time? His youthful age. Are we seeing that? Lift up your hands and pray. That's why sometimes when I tell Papa, you are doing too much. How old am I? And I'm resting what type of rest? No, some of you, you sleep 12 hours a day, right? You know, everybody is denying now. Let me tell you that you slept. You slept 8 o'clock. Is that not so? Early to bed, early to rise. And you woke up 8 a.m. How many hours is that? So when you are 50, you will have slept 25 years of your life. You used... <laughs> These are the way you do calculations. You just stand up from the bed. As I rebook your sleep and you get to work. Lord, impact me with supernatural strength. Turn that to prayer tonight. Impacts me with supernatural strength. Amen. Say, oh God, oh God, let my ways open. Let my ways open. Let my destiny break forth. Let my destiny oh break forth. Oh God. God, let my ways open. Let my ways open. Let my destiny break forth. Let my destiny break forth. Oh God, oh God, let my ways open. Let my ways open. Let my destiny break forth. Let my destiny break forth. Raise up your voice and shout out to Parambalakasa. I call my ways. Praise. Amen. I give you two minutes. Talk to God.
you are not happy about your test, talk to him. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Talk to him. Why did you come tonight? Speak to him. I'll put you in front. Not in front of my melody. You are all that matter. You are all that matter. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matter. You are all that matter. Oh, yeah, oh, you are all that matters. Talk to him, talk to him. Angels of miracles are moving everywhere. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe. You are glory beyond the streets. You are the spirit of war. You are glorious beyond the streets. I pray for you tonight. Whatever you have said to God, whatever you have asked of Him, under God, I call it done. I declare, I declare, may answers come for you. May solution come for you. In the name of Jesus, may God reign His miracles in your life and family. May God reign His miracle in your life and family. Enjoy strange favors. Every door locked over your life, locked over your family, I command them open. Door of favor open. Door of miracles open. Deliverance open. Door of healings open. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, you desire to see God show up for you. Whether in your career, whether you in your life, in your family, whatever it might be, where you want this God shop for you, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Situation may He prove Himself as God. I decree may He prove Himself as God. May He prove Himself as God. Oh, Oh, but We 
within the next seven days, God sent me to tell you, I will rain down miracles. It will be one testimony after another. It will be one testimony after another. All your ears I hear this week shall be good news. Every message you will receive, every call you will receive, they shall bring you good news. 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 In the name of Jesus, upon anyone, every demonic sentence is hanging. Upon every family, a demonic statement, sentence is hanging. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. That debt is canceled now. That sickness is canceled now. That accident is canceled now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In your weaknesses, in your pain, in your struggles, may God arise and prove himself as God. May God arise and prove himself.